by Steve Cram. Um, one of his athletes, Laura Waitman, just won the uh, the 1500 A race, 409 it was. Uh, so obviously what you thought of her race? Uh, really good, really pleased. She just was trying to win the race tonight. Uh, we've got a big race next week where hopefully it'll be a bit warmer and yeah. uh, completely different sort of pace. Um, I think at one point we were hoping the race might be a bit quicker, but I think the pacemaker would run the 800 earlier on and I'm not sure she was uh, ready to run sort of 211, 212. So, um, and I don't think too many of the other girls were that interested either. Yeah. So, um, no, so it was really pleasing. She's going very well, obviously, and um, you know, the sport's about winning races as well as running fast times. Yeah, and she's shown both in the 3K at the London Prepares race and here that she can obviously close really well, big last laps at both them races. Yeah, Laura's always had that. I mean, you know, I've known Laura since she was a kid, and she's you know she's always had that ability to to win races, and mm -hmm. um, you know, which is important because. You know, if you're going to go to championships at 1500 metres, as you get better and as you get stronger, you, you still need to be able to, you know, to, to finish well. Um, and she's got that. I mean, to be fair, we've done hardly any speed work, like everybody, because yeah. it's been too cold. Um, and the 3K sort of showed that she's just very strong. Very strong, yeah. So I think I think the speed, you know, once we get into a bit warmer weather and a few more races, um, a bit more pace will come. So yeah, it's a good start. Obviously, I take it Hengelo is going to be kind of around about four minute pace, probably, <laughs> yeah. is it? Super fast, yeah. Um, so I think De Barber, who, who might be running in Hengelo, around 3:57 today. Yeah. So yeah, um, and that'll be very different for her. You know, a completely different type of race, so a different sort of discipline required in that way. You've got to be really thinking about you know what pace you're running, right? Not get too carried away. She's going to try and run four minutes. Obviously, she's going to try and run you know four, five, four, six. So it's, it's something like that. So it, it's a different sort of. Uh, mentality you have to have when you want to races like that. You, you know, Laura's used to trying to win races, and then you have to go into something at that level and just think about you know, what you're trying to do on a personal level rather than what, worry about what's happening at the front. Mm. And one other thing I want to ask you, you just obviously saw the, the men's race as well. Ross mm. Murray is almost like a, a bit of a young version of you, isn't he? He's like same kind well, of build. Again, he's just... you know, I've known Ross since he, since he was a kid, and um, he's always been a super talent. Um, and. You know, he's always been a bit of a laugh as well, and, yeah. and you know, the, he, he, everything that we all love about him is he'll admit was a thing that probably, when he went down to St Mary's, he, he probably didn't do himself justice for a while, and he's had injuries, etc. But he's always been a brilliant team. and um, that was really impressive today. And I, that, I think if he gets the opportunity to get a couple of quicker races, um, he could do very well. Yeah, definitely. Well, thanks for speaking to us. All right. and, uh, cheers. cheers.